The next item of business is consideration of motion 6177 in the name of George Adam on treating the cost of living tenant protection Scotland's bill as an emergency bill. Any member who wishes to speak against the motion should press their request to speak button now. And I call on George Adam to speak to and move the motion. Thank you, President Officer, and uh, I move the motion. Just to uh, say a few words initially with regards to this bill itself. President Officer, it is imperative that this legislation is treated as urgently uh, so that it can ensure that the important protections are in place for people who rent their home. Uh, before cost rises impact their finances by the end of October this year. Uh, we are dealing with a difficult issue as things have moved on, and it is important that this place actually does something to support those in our communities that need that support. So I would like to leave it at that stage at this stage, uh, uh, President Officer, and propose that we take this as emergency legislation. Thank you, Minister. I call on Miles Briggs. Uh, thank you, President Officer. And I move that we do not support the suspension of standing orders. The Scottish Government has insisted on enforcing an emergency legislation timetable with regards to the cost of living tenant protection Scotland bill. This has now meant that MSPs only saw the content of the bill late last night, leaving little time ahead of the committee meeting this morning and, be and before being expected to debate and also vote on the general principles today. Prior to the introduction of COVID-19 emergency legislation, consultation was indeed undertaken with sectors which will be directly impacted. This has now not been the case with re in relation to this bill. The Scottish housing market is complex and unintended consequences are going to be clear from this bill. So the decision by SNP Green Ministers has been made without any consultation with the sector representative bodies and has resulted in much frantic activity since the announcement was made by the First Minister to, access, uh, to assess the negative impacts this bill will clearly have. Now, I hope Parliament will consider that we need opportunity to properly uh, look at this bill and look at the impact. And the process which this bill, I believe, has been introduced to Parliament under is unacceptable and flawed, and has actually looked to bypass the, any in-depth scrutiny which Parliament can provide and organisations and businesses who will be impacted are highlighting to us all. I therefore ask members and ministers if they will provide the opportunity for MSPs to have the same opportunity as the emergency COVID legislation to look at this bill in more in-depth detail. And I urge members today to vote against the suspension of standing orders. I call on the Minister, George Adam, to respond. Thank you, President Officer. As I said earlier, it's imperative that we actually have this legislation. It's treated as urgently because of the impacts it could have on people's finances at the end of October 2022. Uh, I, I find what Mr. Uh, uh, the, the gentleman, I forgot his name instantly, Thanks. you know, uh, but uh, what he's actually stated, what Mr. Briggs has stated, is the fact that, uh, you know, we can't win in this scenario, presiding officer. Last week, one of his colleagues accused us of actually sharing the bill with the sector, and now they're saying we're not actually talking to anyone whatsoever regards it. You know, you can't have it both ways, uh, and, and basically, and I find it quite strange that they would actually use that tact because call me a cynic, presiding officer, but I do not believe they believe in the legislation yeah. to start with. Yeah. And I think that is the fundamental difference between us. As I can go on to some of the detail here, as households in the rented sector, especially those in lower incomes, no, I think you should listen about people in lower incomes, Mr Simpson, yeah. uh, generally pay more for their income on housing costs than owner occupiers. They have higher rates of income poverty and child poverty. Economic analysis suggests that additional measures are necessary to protect renters. And the measures in this bill are intended to offer project, uh, protection to tenants in recognition of the particular issues that will affect people who rent their home as a result of the cost of living crisis incidentally created by this Tory government. Given uh, the urgency of the situation, we consider the provision need to come into force before winter, given the rise in fuel costs and significant impact that will have on households and rented sectors. Our announcement one month ahead of bringing emergency measures to Parliament ensures that our intentions are well known and allowing time for people to adjust their behaviour. 
The proposed changes are needed urgently, presiding officer, to ensure we protect tenants from the disproportionate uh, wealth and financial stress the cost of living crisis has put on them. Any delay could have a terrible impact in our communities, and that would be devastating for the many households throughout Scotland. Thank you. The question is that motion. Point of order, Miles Briggs. Point of order for you as the chair. Can I ask um, whether or not the Scottish Parliament ha has provided all members across the Parliament that this legislation is indeed ECHR Protocol 1, Article 1 compliant? And also, can I ask, um, there are rumours that there is likely to now face a legal challenge uh, because of this legislation. So I wondered if the Scottish Government, given we have previously also seen poor legislation face a legal challenge, uh, where ministers have let Parliament know on that as well. Uh, thank you, Mr Briggs. I can confirm that I have published um, my statement to the effect that the bill is within the legislative competence of this Parliament. Point of order, Jackie Dunbar. Uh, thank you, President Officer. Um, I was just wondering if it could be, if it would be possible to check to see if everyone can get on to blue jeans, because I am getting notification from some of our team that uh, that they're not able to get on. Thank you, Ms. Dunbar. Um, we'll confirm that that is indeed the case. Now, the question is that motion 6177, in the name of George Adam, on the cost of living tenant protection Scotland bill, emergency bill, be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and there will be a short suspension to allow members to access the digital voting system.
The question is that motion 6177 in the name of George Adam on the cost of living tenant protection Scotland bill emergency bill be agreed and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. Point of order, Jenny Gilruth. Um, I couldn't connect to the platform and I would have voted yes. Thank you. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on motion 6177 in the name of George Adam is yes 86, no 28. There were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. The next item of business is topical questions. In order to get in as many members as possible, short and succinct questions and responses would be appreciated. And at question number one, I'll, I'll allow a moment. <laughs> 